Number 14. The hypotenuse of an isosceles right triangle is 24.0416. The area of the triangle is what? So if we have an isosceles right triangle, that means that the two legs of the triangle are going to be equivalent. So this, this, and this tells us it's a right triangle, and since it's isosceles, this leg and this leg are going to be the same. And it tells us the hypotenuse is 24.04. One six. So another name for an isosceles red triangle is a 45-45-90 triangle, and it's called that because the angles, the acute angles are both 45 degrees, and then obviously if it's a right triangle, there's going to be one 90 degree angle. And what this tells you is there's a certain ratio between the sides of a 45-45-90, and that's that the sides are have length x, and the hypotenuse has length x squared of 2. And this just comes from the Pythagorean theorem, right? Um, if I was looking for the hypotenuse, I would say x squared plus x squared equals the hypotenuse squared. x squared plus x squared equals the hypotenuse squared. So 2x squared equals c squared. So c would be the square root of 2x squared which is just x times the square root of 2. So if 24.0416 is equal to x times the square root of 2, the x is just that divided by the square root of 2. So 24.0416 divided by the square root of 2 tells you the side length. So there's a side length of 17. And you want the area. Well, the area is just base times height over 2. Well, the base and the height are the same. So it will be 17 times 17 and then divide by 2, which gives us an area of 144.5, which is answer choice A. All right, so if you have any questions from other tests, make sure to leave a comment, and I'll make a video with a solution. With that said, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.